Warning, as required by G2 law, we must inform you that this therapy may contain aspects that certain patients may- I saw jump scares! <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully the game doesn't sound too loud. Oh lord, just a little bit, just in case. Alright, hopefully- I'm like at negative 30, it's at negative 40. That should be fine. Alright, play. Also, I realize Goose is not here with us. L E E Taylor Lee Dr. Kruger is waiting for you at room 1015. Huh? Wait a second. Is this us? Where where the hell am I? Welcome to Kruger Health and Solutions Corporation. We are the largest leading multi-specialty medical groups in G2 district delivering more than 1 million patient visits each year. Dang. I'm Dr. Albert Gerald Kruger, and I will be in charge of your dream therapy today. What? I'm not sick. And what the hell is a dream therapy? That sounds like such a scam. Do not be afraid, my child. I'll have you know that I am a professional, and I have a PhD in marine biology. <laughs> Do I look like a dolphin to you? Before we start our session, I'd like to go over your basic information. What is your name, my child? Taylor Lee. Age? 19. Pronouns? They, them. What brings you here today, and what are your symptoms? Huh? I said I'm not sick. Very well. Why don't we start with a sanity check? Do you enjoy math, Taylor? Not particularly. Perfect! Then let's start with some simple math. The rule is very simple. I'll show you a question, and you, you'll need to choose the correct answer. From the four cards I provide you. Does that sound good? Whatever. Alright, let's get started. Nine... Was that nine divided by three? Three. I can't believe it! Nicely done! 7 divided by 1 equals 7. Magnificent! This is, I don't know, this is a bit eerie feeling! It's like uncanny! Excellent job! Okay, I can't believe it! Nicely done! What? You're just giving like some basic responses! Tres bien! Tres bien! <laughs> is anything changing in the background? I'm so, div I'm so like worried! Why do you keep giving me math problems? Okay. It's making me so nervous! Oh. What was that? Was that like a bloody card? What the hell? Was that blood? No, it wasn't. That was most- that most definitely was. No, it wasn't. Now, Taylor, time is ticking. Focus on your question first. Okay. Wonderful job, Taylor. You got all of them correct. You must have used a lot of brain cells for those math questions. What are you trying to say, doctor? Why don't we take a little short break? Um, sure. Let me turn up the music. Uh much better. Why is it so loud? Why? That's too loud for me, even. I gotta lower. I mean, so how's it going? Huh? How are you feeling? Everything's alright? Eh. I'm a bit confused, but otherwise all good. How's school? Pretty much the same. You a college student? Yeah. Sweet! Are you from G2? Yeah! I've been living here my whole life! What about you? You from around here as well? Yes. I was born in G2. However, I did not attend college here. I went to G4 for my post-secondary education. Oh, aren't you? Yes. That's a pretty dope school. Thank you. Okay. Is, what's going on with his eye? Is he good? What is this? 
All right, break's over. Let's move on to the next session of our therapy, shall we? Um, okay, this section, we're gonna play a game. Very classic one. It's called the shell game. Have you heard of that? The shell game? No, not really. It is more commonly known as cups and bowls. <laughs> oh, that. Suck at that game. Why don't we give it a try? What do you think? Um, whatever you say. Whoa. Why does his head love the enthusiasm? So you can see, I have three cups over here. And in one of them, I'll be placing a... Hmm, pardon me. But it seems that we don't have any balls here. <laughs> Let me go get one. Unzips pants. Why the music stop? Just what in the hell is going on? I don't like it. Did he cut a ball off? Did he call a ball? A ball? Off? What the fuck was that? <gasps> hey! Thank you for your patience, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. What the hell happened out there? Did you hear that? Hear what? Oh, the scream! What scream? This is gaslighting! Don't gaslight me! This is a waste of time. Shall we proceed with the therapy? I don't need there. Just get up and leave! Oh, I thought that was like some sort of eyeball that just fell off. So you can see, I have three cups over here. It is an eyeball! <laughs> it's an eyeball! And in one of them, I'll be placing a ball under it! But the F, man! That's not a ball! That's a freaking eyeball! An eyeball is a ball! <laughs> Duh, an eyeball is a ball! It's got it in its name! It's a sphere! You know what? That's not what I meant. The, where the hell did you get it? It was donated by a former patient! Why would you use that for cups and balls? This is messed up! Actually, according to the contract, we are free to use it however we want. Wow. Any other inquiries? You know, the faster we finish this section, the sooner I can put it back. Put it back?! <laughs> what do you mean? In the, in the thing? Okay, okay! Anyways, I'll be shifting those three cups around, and you will tell me which one you think has the ball. Is that clear? Yes, I know how the game works. Perfect, here we go. Okay, it's in this cup. What is going on? This is so weird. I just, is anything gonna happen? Nothing really changes in these little game modes. Something is gonna though. Oh, it's getting faster. Oh, it's so getting faster. I was just guessing. Impressive job, Taylor. You spotted all of them. Okay. Your phone has like a little smiley face, I just realized. Did that painting change? Was this painting always this? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember. Let's take another break, shall we? Sure. Awesome. Let me turn up the music. Why? Oh, phone call. Who's gonna be? Pardon me. Oh, he's got little fangs. Albert Kruger speaking. How may I help you? <laughs> hmm, is that so? Well, I'm sure you're competent enough to come up with a plan. Am I correct? <laughs> no, William. We're not killing it. I prefer that we come up with a better plan before resolving into that. Now, please excuse me. I'm with a patient at the moment. Sorry about that. Um, is everything okay? That sounds pretty serious. Thank you for your concern, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. However, there's no need to be worried. I'll have you know that our team is extremely well trained. Um, okay. That's good to know. By the way, your last name is Kruger, right? That is correct. Just kind of curious. Does that mean you were the CEO? Good catch, Taylor. Yes, I am indeed the CEO of Kruger Corporation. In fact, my father was the one who created this company. 
All I did was simply take over after his death. Is that why you came back from G4? To take over your family's business? Yes, it is part of my destiny. I... I see. But dang, I gotta say, I'm pretty honored to receive therapy from the CEO himself. You're too kind, Taylor. I'm just simply doing what I enjoy doing. And not to mention, I enjoy talking to you very much. Um, glad. I say that's enough time for a short break. Shall we move on to the next section? Oh, I don't want to! <laughs> uh, sure. This section is a bit different. It is not a game or a test, but a way for me to get to know you better. Or as how I usually like to call it, the gateway to your heart. The gateway to my heart? Yes, I will be asking you a series of questions, and I'd like you to answer them honestly. Huh? What kind of questions? All kinds of questions. Questions that are about you. Nah, I'll pass. It is an integral part of the therapy. Abstaining is not an option. This ain't fair, you know? I didn't sign up for any of this. Why do I have to tell you anything about me? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I can modify this part a little bit. How about each time you tell me something about you? I'll tell you something about me in return. Mm, that's tempting. But how do I know if you're lying or not? Trust is an extremely important but is extremely important between a patient and their therapist. It is essential for the work to go as far as it needs to. Okay, fine. Whatever. Excellent. However, I do have one request. You have to close your eyes for this section. And no matter what happens, you can't open your eyes until I tell you to do so? Can I trust you on that? We're- Our character is crazy! Like this? <laughs> yeah. Like this? Is this how you close your eyes? Like this? Yes, perfect. My first question is, what was it like growing up in your family? Hmm, nothing extraordinary. My parents were immigrants who came to G2 to seek opportunities. I had two siblings, and we used to all live under the same roof with our parents. Sometimes it gets a little bit annoying, but as a whole, it was pretty. It was a pretty happy experience. What about you? What was your family like? It was also quite ordinary. Both my parents were well-known figures in the med medical field. They were very busy people. However, what's different from you is, I was the only child. I... I see. Should I open my eyes? No. Ah, uh, do I? No, 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 no. He told us not to. We like if he's a bad guy. I don't know. We have to abide. We have to abide. My second question is, how connected do you feel to the people around you? Hmm. Well, I'm not very popular in schools, but I do have a few good friends that I feel deeply connected to. My family as well. We understand and respect each other very well. That's good. It is important to have friends and families that support you. Well, what about you? Do you feel connected to the people around you? Of course. I feel deeply connected to- All my patients. They all mean a lot to me. What was that? I guess that's very professional of you. What the hell were all these noises? Should I open my eyes? No! No, we're not opening. Next question. If you could wave a magic wand, what positive changes would you make happen in your life? Mm, that's a tough one. There's really nothing I like to change. I like everything the way it is right now. Interesting response. But it's always important to appreciate what you have at hand. Well, let's hear yours. What would you change? Mm. Did you put on some some weird music? I guess the world could have less mediocre people. Excuse me? I'm just joking. I love my life and everything about it. There's nothing that needs to be changed. Something feels off. What is this weird guitar sound? Should I open my eyes? Oh, it stopped. No! We're not opening our eyes! Oh, are we gonna die? Last question. Have you ever had the urge? <laughs> I hate it. I hate it to murder someone in your life. Or maybe dismember them, chop them into pieces, and make them into a hamburger. 
I don't even like burgers! Ex excuse me? Of course not! This is messed up! Have- Have- Have you? I personally take a dislike to hamburgers, so no! Hey, we're in the same boat! That's- That's not- Feeling really uneasy. Should I open my eyes? No! Thank you for your cooperation, Taylor. You are now free to reopen your eyes. Okay, nothing changed. I can't tell if anything changed. Shall we take another short break? Let me make the music louder. What is that? Um, do you hear that? My apologies for such an unpleasant experience, Taylor. Now if you would excuse me, I will go handle that. Why don't you watch some videos at the meantime? Um, okay. Alright, I'll pull up my YouTube. I'll watch some- I'll watch some Snake Discovery. I'll put on some videos. No, I'll choose! Albert? Yes? Please don't kill him. <laughs> of course I won't. Who do you think I am? I'll be back soon. <gasps> it's the thing from The Simpsons! Oh, Kruger Corporation. Stress. It's something many of us deal with on a daily basis. Yet something few seem to have mastery over. That's why we're working hard at Kruger, developing life-changing treatments and revolutionary dream therapy, allowing our patients to tackle their stress in ways the world has not seen before. So what are you waiting for? In today's increasingly difficult market, what better thing to invest in than yourself? Okay. Okay. What is this? What was this? Uh. Okay. Hello again, Taylor. I hope you enjoyed the video. That was, uh, a pretty cool commercial. Thank you. In fact,. It's a bit out of date. I plan to update it soon. Um, I see. Did things get resolved with that dude? Yes. Resolved. Peacefully. That's- that's good. Are we ready for the next round of therapy? Yes, sure. This section's going to be a lot more fun than the previous ones. Have you by any chance heard of the Rosh Hashanah test, Taylor? The Rosh Hashanah test? Isn't that the thing where they show you the picture and ask you what you see? That's correct! It's a psychological test developed in 1921 to measure underlying thought disorder and examine a person's personality characteristics and emotional functioning. So for this section, I'll be showing you a series of ink blots and you will tell me what you see in them. Is that clear? Yeah, crystal clear. Alright, here we go! Oh, I get to choose? I see like a... Like a... Honestly, I see a, a pal from Pal World. <laughs> I don't see any of this. A butterfly? That's quite the imagination. I see a necklace for this one. Uh... None of this. None. Zero. A crab. A bunny taking a deuce. Uh, oh, wow, okay, so these- okay, now it's obvious. A robot! Ooh. Moth face. I kinda see a face. I see a spider. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I can click on these? Oh. Oh, I can click on them? This? Why is this like this? Oh, oh I'm a psycho! Whoa, it changed! <gasps> Butchery, dismemberment, corpse, slaughter, psycho, bloodshed. Psycho, corpse, murder? How did I not realize this? Why am I allowed to flip these? Sir, suffer? Dismemberment, death, slaughter, suffer. Good job, Taylor. That was incredibly fascinating. 
Oh, did I flip the wrong ones? Well done, Taylor. Well done. So proud of you. I hate to say this, but we're getting close to the end of our therapy. Just want to say, I really enjoyed speaking to you. And I really appreciate that you chose Kruger Corporation. Um, I actually did it, but no worries. I think it's a no worries. I clicked too fast. It was also a very interesting... It was also a very interesting session for me. Glad you enjoyed it as well. That means a lot to me. May I ask what your favorite section of the therapy? Favorite section? Uh, they were all pretty cool, I guess. You're too kind, Taylor. So glad to hear that. Would you mind filling out this post-therapy survey for me? That would mean a lot to me. Sure. How did you like the overall experience? Yay! How would you rate the therapist? Yay! Would you recommend Kruger? Yay! Done! Okay. Thanks a lot. That was big help. Before I let you go. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Can I have one last request? Sure. What is it? Will you... Sacrifice yourself for the G2 district? Huh? We need you for building a better future of G2 district. We need you to feed the hungry people of G2 district. <gasps> G2 is our hometown. We need to make G2 better. What do you mean, feed the hungry people? My children have been starving. They will be grateful to you forever. <gasps> Thank you for your contribution to G2 District. Bad end. Ending one of three? How do you get the good ending? Wait, how do you get the good ending? It's incredibly rude to skip all of our conversation. I kind of want to get the good ending. Is it like the good ending? Like if I open my eyes, I really don't want to go through it all right now. If I can like skip, I'll wait until the end. And if I can skip to the um to the other parts, then I will. Is that it? Oh my gosh! Is that her? Is that her arm and organs? Yo, good to see that you're doing fine. So you can see, I'm very fricked. Ugh, oh, what a waste. They didn't even finish my intestines. But it's okay. This does not need to happen to you. Thing is, Albert seems to be using dream therapy as a way to find certain type of people. So maybe get all the questions right? Be as obedient as possible? Don't question him? I don't think I ever did! Maybe that way you can save yourself from getting the same fate as I do? Why don't you go ahead and find out? I thought I got all the questions! Was it because I flipped the paper? And does this put me in the beginning? Yeah, it does. Oh! Alright. I... I mean, that's really freaking fun. I might have to do the other endings. Like, in a recording or something, just so I can skip by it. But I don't think I'm gonna do it here. Let me set me free! Set me free! Oh my gosh, showing all my stuff. It's fine. Eh. Yes. Oh! But that was so cool! That was so much fun! 